What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech, and if you have the Nest and it's not working properly, I'm gonna show you ways to fix your problems. If you open up the Nest app and it says, try again, that lets you know that there's a problem with the network. Either your modem or your router needs to be reset. First thing I would do is unplug the modem, wait about five minutes, and then plug it back into the wall and wait for all the lights to turn on and stay solid. Usually they'll blink and then stay solid when the modem is ready. Next, you wanna see if that fixed that issue. If it didn't, then proceed unplugging and resetting the router and let it reboot. It usually takes a couple minutes to reboot and see if that fixes the issue. It usually does. Now, if you open up the Nest app and it doesn't say try again and some of the cameras are working, just the Nest Hello doorbell video is not. As you can see, it says camera is offline but my other cameras are working just fine. That lets me know that the Nest Doorbell camera is malfunctioning and I need to reset it or restore it, factory restore. Now, if you have your reliability issues to all your Nest cameras, that's why I said reset your modem slash router to eliminate that from the possibilities. Also, Wi-Fi extenders can cause issues and connecting to a five gigahertz signal from your router can cause issues as well microwaves, LED lights, stuff like that would cause issues. Aluminum siding, aluminum roof, that can cause issues to your outside Nest cameras as well. Now, if you have Wi-Fi issues, I suggest getting rid of the Wi-Fi extenders altogether and getting Google Wi-Fi. It fixed my issues at my house and I'm sure it can fix yours. See the link below. Next, you wanna proceed to the Nest app. You wanna make sure that Nest app is updated and you want to make sure your phone is connected to the same Wi-Fi connection as your Nest cameras. Go ahead and enter the Nest camera that's giving you issues. Select that camera, then select the gear on the upper right hand corner. You can try a soft reboot by turning off the camera through the app and turning it back on. Or you could try a hard reset by unplugging the power source for about one minute and plugging it back in. Knowing what the LED status light means on the Nest cameras can be very helpful when troubleshooting. No LED status light on the Nest camera means you have a power issue going to your Nest camera. So check the surge protector and see if your circuit breaker is switched over. Next, solid green indicates that everything's working perfectly and your Nest camera is connected to a Wi-Fi network. A solid blue means that the Nest camera is booting up or rebooting, or it is doing a firmware update. So you may have to wait five to 10 minutes for it to switch to a solid green light, which indicates that everything's working perfectly. A solid yellow means you're having trouble with your Wi-Fi connection. So make sure your Wi-Fi router is turned on with all the LED status lights on. A blinking green light means someone is watching a live feed from the Nest app or the Nest website. A blinking blue light indicates that everything is in normal operation. This means someone is watching the live feed and speaking remotely through the speaker. For the Nest Cam IQ, a solid green light indicates that everything's working perfectly. You are connected to Wi-Fi and it is streaming video. If the status light is blinking green, then someone is watching the camera's live feed. If the camera light is pulsating blue, it is ready to be connected to the Nest app. If the camera is blinking a yellow light, that indicates that there is trouble connecting to Wi-Fi or trouble connecting to the Nest service. If your light is blinking red, this indicates that it has insufficient power. You should check your power source or unplug the power and plug it back in, making sure you have a good connection. If you don't have any LED light on the camera, that can indicate that the camera is turned off, it isn't receiving power, or the status light is turned off. For the Nest Hello doorbell, a solid green light indicates that everything is working perfectly, you are connected to a Wi-Fi network, and it is streaming video. If there is no status light on the doorbell, that can indicate that the camera is turned off, there isn't power going to the doorbell, or the light is turned off. If it's blinking a yellow light, that can indicate that it has insufficient power. You should check your voltage, check the power source, and check your connections. If the light is continuous and it's frozen, then you may have to disconnect power 
to that camera and then reset it. Another way to reset your Nest doorbell is to use the push pin that came with the unit. Undock it by using the push pin on the bottom hole of the doorbell. Once you undock it, then on the back top of the unit, use the push pin and press in the reset pinhole for 10 seconds to reset the doorbell. If that still does not fix your issue, then you may have to factory reset it by once again using that push pin to push in the reset pinhole for 10 seconds while pushing down on the doorbell button at the same time. That will factory reset it and then you have to go into the Nest app to reset up that doorbell. Now if you have reliability issues with your Nest camera, you can lower the quality and see if that improves the reliability of your live streaming. Also, if you change the password for your wireless router, go right here and click start to reset that password. And last, of course, if you need to, you may have to relocate the camera if it's in a bad spot closer to the wireless router, or you may have to go ahead and do a factory reset by removing the camera by using the Nest app and reinstalling the camera using the QR code in the back of the camera and go through the setup wizard on the Nest app. If you don't hear audio, you want to go to the gear and then go to microphone. Then you want to make sure audio recording is turned on and microphone is turned on. If you went through these troubleshooting steps and you're still having issues, here's the number for the Nest support. If this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you know anyone with the Nest Hello doorbell and that this video may help them in the future, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want more tech tutorials coming your way, click on that subscribe button, hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest videos. Thanks guys for watching.